What's up guys, this is Merc Music, and welcome to the brand new sword in Modern Warfare 3. Sledgehammer Games just dropped Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 Reloaded, and they added the Soul Render, which is a sword. It's described as a ceremonial blade capable of razor sharp cuts and deadly melee action in close quarters combat. So specifically for this video, we're going to focus on unlocking the Soul Render and then testing it out and seeing if it's any good. To get it unlocked, we have to go to the Battle Pass. There's a brand new sector. I think it's like B21. Yeah, it's right here. And there's five different challenges we have to do before we can get the sword unlocked. For the first one, you have to get five throwing knife kills, which isn't too bad. And you will also unlock a brand new aftermarket part so that's pretty sick we also have to get 10 melee kills now some of these challenges can be done in zombies as well but we're going to be focusing on multiplayer then we have to get 15 kills with either a frag grenade or a simtex which is kind of strange after that we have to get five kills with the butt of a gun so yeah we're gonna be smacking people with butts and lastly the final challenge to unlock the soul render which is kind of strange is you have to get 10 melee kills while you're crouched now i think we're going to use the riot shield for that but yeah these challenges aren't too bad and we should be able to get this thing unlocked pretty fast and then i could show you guys how it is so let's get into it yo they brought back 12v12 mosh pit oh I am so tempted to play that, but I know that the small map mosh pit is probably going to be the best thing to play for getting this done quick, so let's get into that. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy this video and you want to see some more brand new Modern Warfare 3 Season 2 Reloaded stuff, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Wait, we got DOS House? Oh, that's right, DOS House is part of this. Now, you guys might have noticed that the game might not be looking as high quality as usual, and that's because I'm playing on PS5 right now. I have been going through it, man. I don't know what happened, but this update... Oh boy. This update completely broke Modern Warfare 3 for me on PC. I spent over an hour trying to just get the game working. Okay. I troubleshooted and tried everything for over an hour, and ultimately, I had to fully delete Modern Warfare 3 off my PC, and I have to reinstall it. It's currently reinstalling right now, and it's still got over, like, 70 gigs to go. Even though I've got gigabit internet, this is not going by fast at all. I've totally yoinked that. I don't care. So that is kind of a big bummer. It's been wasting so much time, but we're here on PlayStation. We have the option to, so why not? I really am hoping that it will get working on PC again, though. Like, that's just where I play. Like. Oh, boy. It feels weird to be back on PS5, honestly. We're getting the throwing knife kills, though, and this guy's mic is destroying my ears. I think we finished all the throwing knife kills. There we go. Now we just have to get melee kills, which uh, no one's going for them. So this is going to be very easy. I've got to mute this guy. Hold. You're not even saying anything. Like, why is your microphone so loud? <laughs> Thank you. Dude's name is Chubsack. I like that name. Pretty sick name. I don't know if this happens to you guys either, but like, honestly, my anxiety was just getting like really fucked up with all of this stuff going wrong. Normally when I troubleshoot different things and try different things, it will work. Like it will eventually get fixed and it will work, but nothing was working. So I had to fully reinstall the game. I really do apologize because I wanted to get this video up sooner for you guys. And I wanted to be able to, you know, like showcase this gameplay as fast as I possibly could, but that's just like not a reality today. So that kind of sucks. I don't know why this is happening or what caused this problem in the update, but basically what was happening is simply anytime I would try to to log onto the game and get on the game when I would click onto the multiplayer menu it would just freeze like I couldn't get past it so I'm definitely curious to hear from you guys if you had any problems like this or if it's been an issue for you guys as well all right we got the 10 melee kills that wasn't too bad I need to start putting on like frags and simtexes then probably this class but take off the c4s I'm gonna get some frag grenades going there we go time to be truly evil oh this is gonna be fun watch 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 no! <laughs> I got him martyrdom bitch I love it. Oh, okay, that was a little too soon. Man, these lobbies are going to be so much fun today. All these people doing all these different challenges. I don't know how to cook a grenade, apparently. He's weak. And then... That, that, how did that not kill someone? There we go. Double kill. Come on, let's get a frag grenade quad feed. Oh. I don't think that's going to work. Oh, it got someone. Let's go. <laughs> He's not going to... Oh, TV! <laughs> I almost had that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I am so bad at throwing grenades, like what? Why is this actually difficult for me? Oh, we got a double. Come on, frag grenade quad feed. Eh, they didn't spawn. I forgot what the other challenge was. Oh, that's right, you have to bash people with the butt. All right, butt, no! Butt smacking time, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> it's actually working. The gun butt smacking is not going great though. Mostly because these guys are just playing weird. Hey, there's one. I'll take it. Come on, triple. Oh, that would've been sick. Oh, we got a gun butt smack. It would actually be insane if we got all of this done in one match. <laughs> we got another one. Come on, we got to finish the grenade challenges at least. No! That was a decent first game on. I think we got at least two of the challenges done, so that's not too bad. If you're looking to unlock the soul render fast, I would recommend doing the small map stuff. It seems to be the best for getting the stuff done quickly. I went 28 to 46. Wow, that was a great first game. I'm pretty sure like half of those deaths were me just blowing myself up. Okay, yeah, so we finished the first two challenges. We need to get four more grenade kills, which isn't too bad. Three more butt melee kills, and then we can start going for the crouch ones, because I think this challenge is locked off until we do the first four. Kind of like going for gilded or gold camo on the game. Wow, they actually voted for stash house. Okay. All right. I might go for the butt kills first because they're going to have spawn protection. Oh, teammates are already camping here. What? I would have thought for sure they'd be there. 
What are we doing? But, but, but. <laughs> I don't know if I like Stash House for this. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it's the lobby or if it's the map. I mean, I've never been the biggest fan of this map. Even when it first came out. I might go to 12v12. I don't care. Take away the skill-based matchmaking. Oh, we got a kill. We actually got a kill. We're probably like 1 in 10 right now. Okay, we got a kill. There we go. We got a butt kill. We did it. One more butt and I think one more grenade and then we can do the riot shield kills. This is, this is so much fun. Let's see how we're doing so far. So right, yeah, right now we're 4 to 28. That's really good. Going for the soul render is soul crushing. I'm just gonna say that. Especially after all of the issues with the game today. But hey, we finished the gun butt kills. I just need to get another grenade kill, which apparently isn't possible. Please just die. Please die to this grenade. Thank you. Okay, we can go for the crouch kills now. Come on. We gotta be crouched while doing it. <laughs> okay, this is actually working. It's better than trying to do all the other challenges, apparently. <laughs> the fact that some people don't know how to deal with an actual Riot Shield player is just hilarious to me. I crouched. I crouched. What is happening? What? Did the game freeze? What was that? Oh, yeah. Come on, there we go, come on. We can get this done. These guys somehow don't know how to deal with riot shields. Woo! <laughs> Maybe we just slide into these, I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh my, what? Oh, I think we did it. I think we got the sword. Did we actually get the sword? We did! Hell yeah, okay, we got the soul render. All right, we have it on the class. Apparently, wait, ooh. Okay, this is pretty sick. Ooh! It's got like a cinematic kill. Dude, that is so awesome. Oh, come on. It. Dude! It's almost like doing a mini execution or like mini takedown every time. But apparently you can enter a guard stance. I just don't know how to do it. Do we have to like charge this up? Oh yeah, you can hold down the right trigger and the sword is just like chilling here. I don't think you'll ever have a chance to really time this unless someone doesn't know what they're doing. Like that, this guy right here. Oh, I think maybe you get a little bit of extra lunge while doing that. I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I love that. That animation is so cool. Oh, he's camp. Really, you're hiding behind a shower curtain with a brecci. The brecci reborn us. I mean, honestly, viva la brecci. I'm not even mad. That attachment is hilarious. We do have DOS House 24-7, so we can play that if we just want to go melee only on that map specifically. But we also have 12v12, and when we had 10v10 in the game, there's basically no skill-based matchmaking in the mode. It's so much fun to play. I think I'm going to go for some 12v12. It's just been so much fun to play these bigger team modes. And I'm pretty sure I haven't made this suggestion in a video yet, but we really need like 10v10 or 12v12 in war. I'm surprised we haven't gotten ground war war from Call of Duty World War II yet, because that would slap. That would be so much fun to play. All I'm saying is Sledgehammer Games, if you're seeing this video, please consider it. That'd be pretty dope. 12v12 TDM on Karachi is not exactly what I was thinking, but we'll go for it. You can kind of slash, but if you hold right trigger, then you can kind of charge it up. Last match, I was only clicking the right trigger, so I'm curious to see what the other attack does. The fact that we have a melee weapon that does more than one attack is pretty cool. Oh, that's still a one hit? Okay. Oh, that made him rage quit. So I think the right trigger is really only meant for doing that takedown... Take down animation. What's happening here? Why can't I climb that? <sighs> so much weird stuff with the game today, man. I really hope they can figure it out. Smack them. Boom. Come on. We got a flank. We can get him. Oh, how'd I miss that? Ooh. We cut his head off. <laughs> right, we're gonna go top. Go top three. Go top three. Ooh. Why is it lagging like this so much? Oh, God. Oh dear. Woo! No, dude! I don't know what's going on with the connection of the game right now, but if we can get back there, we could possibly get a quad. Boom. Boom. More. Come on. They're still spawning back here. Why is this guy all the way back here? That's the question. What are you doing? In the corner. What is Oh my god. Oh my god! Why are you there? Gold M13C hiding in a corner in the back of their spawn. That is so adorable. Oh, here's the Brecci Reborn. Man, this game has really gotten weird, hasn't it? You're done. You're done. There's another one here. 
Well, it's over. That one was okay. I mean, it's Karachi TDM, but the sword is still a lot of fun to use. And now that I know you can use the left trigger to kind of just do a quick swipe, I can do so much better with this thing now. You know what? I want to try this thing out on just DOS House because it is a pretty good map for going melee only. Oh, wow. My Modern Warfare 3 is uninstalling. It only took an entire year. Boom. Boom. Oh, come on. He wasn't even playing. What was it? He was just standing here menacingly. He really was a menace because he just, he came back and just blocked me. Oh man, when it makes the noise, but it doesn't actually kill or do anything. Oh, I wish this thing could like swipe and kill multiple people. That would be sick. Is that guy going for long shots? I really don't know. Oh, what are you doing? What? No! This is one of the most confusing lobbies I've seen. We're doing good. We're doing good. Look at this. Do the typical DOS house. Just sit here and wait for them to come by. Come on. Walk through this corridor. See what happens. See what happens. Mm. Take that old Captain Price. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. We just gotta do it. We gotta do it. Okay, yeah, that one ended pretty fast. I don't know if DOS House is necessarily the best map for going melee only. Could have just been the lobby. Wait, what are the Soul Render camo challenges? Oh, it's kind of a cool looking camo. You get Omnigenesis. You just have to get 50 kills with it. That's not too bad. Oh, here's the actual mastery camo. So you have to get 10 kills while being out of the enemy's line of sight. For Forge, you have to get 10 kills while crouching or sliding. I mean, that's not too bad. The slide kills would be probably the easier one. And then after that, you have to get 15 kills from behind with the sword. And then you'll just get Interstellar. So that's really not too bad for multiplayer. But that's good to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really do hope you guys enjoyed watching me unlock and use the brand new sword in Modern Warfare 3. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see some more new stuff in Modern Warfare 3, make sure to drop a like. I'll see you guys later. Now come, Tranquil.